Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Now enjoy my video. Hey y'all! Today we're gonna do another weekly budget-friendly background. And I was thinking I'm gonna play with some paint, uh, some craft paint. I do have um, acrylic art spray from Marabou, which is uh, waterproof. We're gonna use some tissue, no, not tissue paper, deli paper. We're gonna crunch it up. I think I need a little bit more. Here we go. So, and we're also gonna use a stencil with rather large openings, not a, a fine intricate stencil. I mean, that's what I have the idea for. <laughs> okay, let's start first with a base layer of some copper. You could use any other color, just make sure that you have a really good contrast between your background color and your top layer. So, Oops, yeah. There are days and then there are the other days. Anyway, let's get here some color going on. So it is more or less dry. Now, next I'm gonna use some buttercup yellow. It's just a light yellow with a lot of white in it, so it's gonna be opaque and hopefully there is enough white here. We'll see. Otherwise I'm gonna grab one of the artist grade white. If there is Let's see, what do we have here? Okay, no more craft paint, so I go for the... Artist grade Titan White. Now uh, we're going to need the stencil and place it somehow, we like it. I think I like it like that. Yeah, here we go. Um, I'm gonna crunch up the jelly paper, roll it a little bit, and then I'm gonna pick up the paint with the jelly paper, and I'm going into both paints. Now for this technique it is better when the paint isn't too liquid to dab it on because we want the texture. Just thinking now I could have actually also used gesso. Oh well, next time. And the deli paper gets kind of soft after a while, so it doesn't give you that much texture no longer. So I'm gonna grab a new one. I'm also gonna use the spray 
and I make sure that I don't use it correctly. I want more splatters than um, fine mist. A little warning here, you're gonna get black hands probably. Actually, I think I want more splatters. I'm just gonna empty out the spray bottle and clean the nozzle so it doesn't get uh, clogged down. Now let's see what we have here. Nice pebbles. So as usual there's gonna be a photo at the end with a close-up because yeah, I could tilt it a bit so that you actually see better. As usual the video doesn't justice the colors. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care!